In this world, nightmares lurk. They hide in our neighborhoods, walk our streets, wear our faces. But they are not us. They are the world's best kept secret, and we are going to find them. Welcome to Uncanny Valley Cancer Cell. So one time in LA, I saw this billboard that was a Pokemon themed STD billboard oh, that said, no. gotta catch them all. And <laughs> no, it was, you don't. No, it was the best thing. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us. Last time, I ended on a bit of a cliffhanger. A little one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a, a little, little bit. bit. Just a bit. Just a bit. And uh, I'm not going to waste anyone's time. We're going to get right back into it. For that reason. But before we start, there's something our party does not yet know about vampires. Oh. Mm. Something that they will undoubtedly know after tonight because they will soon learn. But I think that us as players and our listeners should know that the moment a sire embraces a child, Their time as a living vessel is over. Now, now when you say Sire embraces a child, that's you're talking about when a vampire drains the human of their blood and makes them into a vampire. Correct. Okie dokie. So we're talking like Louis Lestat kind of. Yeah, and though they move and act like humans in many ways, they are not alive. Sorry, they don't blink unless they need to look alive. They don't sweat no matter how hard they run. And most significantly, to our band of trapped investigators, they don't breathe unless they're scenting prey. So, can I have everyone roll initiative? Oh, okay. (laughs) Now that's how you start a session. So, I think my butthole just clenched. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks, Dee. I'm the furthest away. (laughs) Can I start running yet? <laughs> okay, I know. Don't be a weenie. I, I got. Man, I wish. Mm, all right. <laughs> it, I I roll. I I dropped the dice while rolling it, and I got a ten. And I'm really sad that I didn't get that on purpose. Okay, I got an eight plus. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready whenever you are. Okay, well, you all are lucky in one regard. So are we? Uh, let's read out those initiatives, please. Starting with John. I got a 14. Okay. I got a 12. Okay. Steven? Oh, sorry. I got an 8. <laughs> JD? 7. 7. 7. Woo! Woo! 7. Uh, I've got a 12. 12. Way to start. So between, uh, between you lost. and me, Deanna, what's our... Uh, uh, what's dex? Yeah. For me, my dex is uh, 2. Mine is 1, so I think you win. Sweet. So Darla will go first. Well, no, uh, or no, uh, uh, Vic goes first. Well, I mean Mason goes first, but Vic goes and then Darla. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So Mason, Vic, Darla, and then JD got the eight, seven, seven. Seven. seven, and then Wolf got eight. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Buckle, I think it would be best if you go ahead and just give us a total refresher on the scene. Sure. All right, so Mason is in a hallway carrying a fire extinguisher. Hiding. Hiding. The two hunters, the the dark-skinned man and the sort of thin, angular woman, are in the hallway approaching. There's a sort of middle atrium outside the elevator they are exiting behind where Mason, and that's about where he's hiding in that corner. On the other side is a small doorway into the room with the capsules, where the rest of the party is standing, generally in the middle. And then further behind them, closer to the capsules, is Reese and Casey, the two test subjects who you met. In the corner, to the right of that, crouched in the darkness, is the feral child. And then at the very back of the uh, room is the line of four sort of cylinders, one of which has been broken, and a vampire is stirring in the broken case. 
to yes. the left of that canister is an, in, an intact container with a female vampire. To the right of that canister is an intact container with the remnants of what looks to be a male vampire. And to the far left is a canister which is empty. Yeah. That is the whole scene. Yeah. And what about the blood plant? Can't forget about the blood plant. That's true. The blood <laughs> plants. <laughs> the blood plants are well. The plants. Don't, the blood plants no, are still in the no. left room. Uh, but I hate them JD, so much. Uh, in an inspired uh, strategic moment, picked up the blood bags. Took the blood bags from the plants. Yeah. Attached to the plants, so he is holding that. Reese is armed with a crowbar, and that is the extent of the weaponry you all currently see. I have a taser. And oh yeah, Darla. I have a chair. Darla has a taser. Wolf has a chair. He's gonna go. I and Jade, have, I have a bat. Well, and JD technically does have his bat on him. I was gonna say Wolf is gonna go doll like WWE and oh yeah. And chair. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll start off the round of combat with. Um, uh, Reese gets a free action because he did initiate combat and it was a surprise. Yeah. So he is going to take a swing at the next canister to the left. If he's going to break them all. That would be a hit. And it cracks, but it does not break immediately. Ooh. And so that makes it... We'll go to the top of the order. Mason's turn. Um, now, uh, Mason and Vic were kind of upstairs. I don't know how much of uh, how much of the information that was given to everyone else we know. was uh, While we were watching them through the video cameras, was there sound at all? No, there was no sound. So all we know is that the whole party is up with those other people. Mm -hmm. That's where you are. Yes. I am by myself near where they will be walking out of the elevator. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I'm pretty sure I am with uh, the kids Okay. in the, the blood room. I don't yeah. remember how good my stealth roll was, and I definitely didn't write it down. I feel like it might have been it good. It was a but... success. Okay. Yeah. Um, then I'm just going to hold my action because I don't think I can do anything productive right now. All right. But yes... So everyone in the party, except for Vic and Mason, uh, were present for the discussions about what yeah. happened in this place and the motivations of these children that yeah. are trapped here. Uh, the two of you, as far as you know, all you see are the scary guys you've been running from following you up the elevator. And as you open the door, you see a kid with a crowbar break open a, a thing with a person in it. Mm -hmm. That's the extent of your knowledge. Yeah. And I suppose it's safe to say you can infer that that might be a vampire because he does not look, he's, he looks visibly non-human. Can I unseen like, sense it? He has a poofy shirt Yeah, you definitely everything. can do that. Okay, cool. Um, but I, I'm just going to give it to you for free. Like, it is such an, un, I mean, roll it to see if you know more. But okay. Vic, I'm going to give it to you for free that this, this guy would not be in this, this cylinder thingy in a weird lab. Mm -hmm. Full of vampire shit. Mm -hmm. If he wasn't probably a vampire, I okay. I think that's a reasonable assumption. Right, right. Right. I'm still trying to figure out how Vic would be dealing with all this. <laughs> Let's go green dice. Breaking out. Uh, green dice. Why? We got two. We got three. Ooh. It was a nine and a zero that I rerolled into an eight. So yes, uh, with your with your successes, you know for a fact that the thing you are looking at is vampiric in nature. Yeah. Um, how many did you get? Two, three, three? for three. Um, yeah, that's you. You can tell immediately that that is an exceedingly powerful specimen. Fun. <laughs> so Mason's holding his action, and that means that Vic is up next. Uh, Vic is honestly going to be very confused right now. Uh, I think that. He's, he's worked very well with the tactic of hiding behind the largest person in the room, or at least the most uh, dangerous-looking person in the room. But at this point, I think that since he's surrounded by vampire stuff and he can't really trust anybody, his immediate thought is, is there, like, is, is, is there anything made out of wood down there? Good thought. Um, Give me a second. Don't worry. The chair that Wolf this. is holding is a wooden folding chair. Sorry, man. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they exist. Yeah, wooden folding chair. Oh, okay. It's mods. Is that the only wood in the room? In this room, yeah. 
Though obviously you infer he got that chair from somewhere. So in another room, there must be wooden folding chairs. Gotcha. I'll keep an eye on that chair. Uh, but for right now, I think uh, I think I'm gonna try and go for a stealth roll. And yeah, right now Vic is probably just wanting to get out of there. And so uh, so I'm gonna go for a stealth roll and see if he can just seize a good opportunity. Uh, so what would you uh, what would you have you roll for that? Uh, stealth and uh, stealth and it's definitely a physical roll. Let's call it stealth and stamina. Stealth and stamina. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna Unless you want to hide in somewhere that's like small or hard to get into, then you could roll dex. Uh, I was thinking about uh, just diving under like a row of chairs or something. I'll call that dex. Let's go with dex. Okay. Well, fine. Take a, take a. <laughs> he's not very combat heavy, and also he's surrounded by vampires when he didn't know vampires existed like an hour ago. <laughs> okay, one success. Did any of us know that? All right. Well, you succeed. It's okay, not cool. very graceful, <laughs> but no, it's you not are a power slide. It's just a scramble under the table, and so long as no one specifically <laughs> looks under it, they won't see you. Now, if someone like is investigating or actively looking for hiding people, they'll find you pretty easily. Uh, is there a way that I can just like keep my wits about me and just like keep an eye open for a chance to bolt or grab something to defend myself with? Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll, I'll give you sort of an advantage in the future. Okay. Given that all you've done this turn is move, um, I'll keep that in mind. Okay. So next up the roll is Darla. Um, I think Darla is going to try uh, and maybe reason with the hunters um, and try and talk it out. Okay. Um, you know I mean? She's got a taser in one hand, so <laughs> it's sort of like taser in front of her and be like... Um, did you see the magic gun? Did I see the yeah, magic gun? I don't gun? think you did. He fired it upstairs, so yeah. she would have heard it. Uh, if she was looking in that direction, which, I mean, the the elevator did just open with a, with a ding. She, mm-hmm. I think it's fair she was looking that way. So, yeah, she, she can see he has a gun. Yes. Um, so I will turn to the man, because he seems, I if I remember correctly, the, to be the more sort of open-faced of the two of them. Because mm-hmm. I feel like, I don't know what the, 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 this, the lady with the chain thing is. It looks like, but she sounds scary as shit. So I think I'm gonna go for the guy. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, so uh, ha- howdy. <laughs> I know this looks bad, but uh, uh, I, well, I, I want you to understand. I, I, I understand that you personally are sent here on a mission, probably to kill all of these people. I get it. I get it. That's a thing, right? But he happens to have the same turn as you. So I'm going to have him act concurrently, if that's all right. Uh, uh sure. <laughs> <laughs> if there's a roll you are getting towards, I'll let you roll Yeah, that. I would like to try and, and, and roll um, maybe uh, persuasion uh, with a professional training, maybe because I'm an actor. Sure. Add it to it. Yeah, I dig that. Go for it. Well, I was going to say, but you understand these are children, right? <laughs> I mean, you can't really be hunting monsters if you yourself are killing children, right, guys? Um, well, the mad boys. So, you want the pearly one? And then, and I'm gonna add some willpower to this. Go for it. Ooh, Ooh boy. They just love uh, willpower. That would be two. Uh, well, it's a tie. He got two on his resolve composure. Okay. Um, but he is defending, so I'm going to give him the advantage. Barf. So okay. So your, your attempt at persuasion was not successful. He moves his gun. But, I mean, even if I have, like, like merits and stuff that are specifically... Oh, wait. Professional training. Is a merit. How does that work? Um, it just means... I think it gives me... I have to look it up again. Um, but I'm pretty sure... Kind of like... It, it means that I have been professionally trained as an actor. So it, it, gets, it might give you success on a tie. A it, lot of it, traits do that. I think I I would consider it, I mean, obviously because I want to win. Yeah. I, yeah, I want to say that. But but I would consider it, since I have stats in that in that direction versus somebody who may not have stats in persuasion, um, that given a tie, that might be successful. You could also for, this, for this instance, we'll call it a wash since it was a tie. Okay. Yeah, I'll owe it. Um, no, no. Uh, I, I want to roll play through this. So he he trains his gun at you. 
And he says, I agree with you that killing the subjects is not an ideal outcome. Your survival, however, is optional. Oh. Well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you see, you understand, uh, sir, uh, well, I'm just a human, actually a human girl, and I, I haven't done anything. I just don't happen to be here. It was a sort of unlucky happenstance, so I would really appreciate it if you didn't shoot me, because that's really mean. <laughs> well, both of your turns are over, yeah. so you but, can keep talking through other people's <laughs> turns. Is, is this happening uh, in all in the same room where Vic is trying to hide? Yes. yes, this is actually, is from where you're sitting under the table, you can see Darla shuffling uncomfortably. You can see her legs against the floor as she makes her plea to the, the hunter. Okay. Vic feels like he made the right decision. <laughs> <laughs> Dick. What a weenie. <laughs> Fucking asshole. He doesn't want you to die. He just wants to live. <laughs> <laughs> so up next at, at the hanging out in the Nine Initiative Club uh, is Casey and Cleo. So... What's Casey going to do? Yeah, okay. So Casey is going to uh, pick up a, uh, a sort of heavy instrument from one of the nearby tables and throw it at the second case that Reese was trying to break. Mm. We'll just do this as a string. Oh, no, she has a lead bi- pipe. She's going to lead pipe the... Uh, case she fails she misses no. so i guess she hits it and the pipe just sort of glances off the the curved surface of the the case and it does remain intact for now uh from the corner however cleo the uh the feral child oh that's her sort name. of crawls on uh, on all fours Underneath the table, across from the table that Vic is, is uh, hiding under. Good eye contact. And for for half a moment, you're terrified that that she's coming for you. Okay. <laughs> you, you are directly like she makes eye contact with you, although you don't get that sort of mental charge of meeting another consciousness that you get from normal eye contact. Okay. And then her eyes just slide off of you, and she crawls back out the other side of the table, past Darla, and towards the hunters. Oh, thank God. I thought she was going to take my blood. <laughs> I need that. Uh, no, she refreshingly is well fed. Good. <laughs> and, uh, I keep my blood on the inside. <laughs> and she uh, makes a dive for Gregory, the male oh, hunter. No. I gotta write it down. <laughs> I like dropping things inconspicuously just to see if someone writes it down sometimes. <laughs> so, yes. Luckily, she's not that strong. So this is just going to be a chance die. It fails. So she dives, but uh, does not quite reach him. She lands kind of at his feet, snarling, and that will be the end of her turn. Which brings us to uh, Wolf. Oh, goody. I'm horribly unprepared for this. you know as you do alright so I got a few questions before I take my action um can can I did I hear what the guy said to Darla that's kind of important to me because uh it'll just determine what I do next yeah it's a small room You, you all hear what just transpired okay cool um oh geez I'm not really sad for combat, but, you know, I'm going to do something really stupid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's we get need dumb. a cowbell for when someone does that. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Ring the stupid bell. <laughs> or at least, like, one of those little doorbells. <laughs> ding, Except that'll get really bad when we all think, when somebody thinks they made a smart decision, and then Buckle's like, ding. <laughs> 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 wrong. Another satisfied customer. <laughs> Okay, so the dude has his back to me, right? Yes, he does. Cool. Uh, I'm going to hit him with a fucking chair. (laughs) (laughs) All right, go for it. All right, all right. Uh, That's strength and weaponry, bro. All right, so we're going to call this an all-out attack. I think that's fair. So, yeah, because um, I'm running up, I'm slapping yeah, the guy. Yeah, since you are, you are giving it all, your all, you're running at it, you're carrying this thing that's that's quite large, you get a plus two to your roll. Cool. Um, but you that, lose defense necessary. for the next round. All right. 
So, um, one more major decision I need to make. Should I burn willpower on this one? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, how, I, I don't have a lot. I'd bank it, but I'm conservative. What do you need to do to recover that willpower is the question. Well, Garrett, I'm glad you asked. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Wolf's virtue is loving and his vice is gluttonous. And in a Chronicles right. of Darkness game, you gain willpower when you give in to your virtue or vice. So, um, yeah. I'm going to say, you know, hitting a man that has a gun trained on me is pretty loving. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even start. Um, <laughs> oh, come on. It, it makes sense, right? I'm just saying, in my personal opinion. Look, Steven let me roll for a boner once, so I'm not going to be a total asshole about this stuff, but that's that's preposterous. No. <laughs> He's doing it from a place of love. Love. <laughs> pow, pow, pow. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Why do you guys sound boner like strength a wrestler? Or... <laughs> All right, Ooh. go for it. Ooh. Okay. All right, we're going for it. Uh... Holy crap, I got four. I got no, I got five successes. I got five successes. Uh, five. Yeah. Alright. Um, so you hit you hit very well. Yeah, I did. Uh it's gonna do two bashing to him since it is a blunt weapon, but you did very well. Thank you. And it is gonna knock him prone. It won't disarm him. He still has his gun, but he is on the ground. So we'll and he will have gun. to, yeah, he will have to spend his next action standing up. Cool. Uh, wait, does he have armor? I suppose he has armor. Yes. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. Just wanted to know. Uh, I need a pencil. Who's got a pencil? Here you are. It was totally my pencil and not Michael Morris's <laughs> pencil. <laughs> Deanna. Who I didn't steal it from by begging with my eyes in complete silence. <laughs> All right, so the next action is Reese's, also at eight. He takes a swing at the canister once more, and he does not succeed. It glances off just like all the other hits, making it JD's turn. Okay, well, so... The guy's at the one side of the room. Where's the chick at? Uh, The girl is just behind him, and she has not had a turn yet. Okay. Um, And they're both, are they kind of like blocking the doorway or are they um the man is properly in the room she is still in the atrium uh sort of you know there's the elevator the hallway yeah the little area with all the doors and then the room you're in she's still in the, the area with the doors okay and uh, i'd say now that now that the man is on the floor she will have to uh to make a roll to enter the room he is blocking the way in him and cleo Okay, well, he's on the ground. I'm going to run up and use my bat and swing at his hand that has the gun in it. Okay. You're aiming to disarm, I assume? Yes. Sure. So... Or make his hand unusable, either or. (laughs) Yeah, so that's... You're attacking a prone target, so that'll be strength plus brawl, and you'll get a plus two to your dice pool since he can't avoid you. Can I use weaponry since I'm using a bat? That's fair. We'll do that. This is going to be fun. Did you say wait, there, was, there was something with him being prone? I'm not sure we're attacking the right thing. You get um, two extra dice. You get two extra dice right? for him being not prone. Okay. So Wolf did accomplish something. It was not a mistake. Yay. It's going better than I thought it was going to. <laughs> I mean, we're not all instantly well, dead. Only so one of these people have shot at me. Yeah. So... Uh, all right. Well, you do hit, uh, which does two bashing to our poor prone evil hunter dude. Listen, I tried to reason with him. <laughs> I really should have a pencil of my own here. Can I trade you? Yeah, I also did just overhear him talking about how uh, optional our survivability is. Um, yeah, he did threaten to shoot me, so I don't really feel that bad. All right, so he's he's pretty bruised up and, and a little bloody now. He's taking a lot of hits. Uh, so that would make it... Aha! 
big big vampire's turn. Big daddy. <laughs> Oh, I've been waiting for shit. So he um, wrenches himself from this network of tubes and wires that are strung up to him, sort of violently pulling them out of their sockets and pulling them out of himself. And he looks up through his long, black, mangled hair. You just see... (laughs) (laughs) Michael, beautiful, black, mangled hair. Two da, negative da, levels da. for JD. <laughs> we don't even have oh, levels. <laughs> Lose your willpower for having a phone on. Um, I don't have a pencil. <laughs> 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 All right. So anyway, through uh, he has sort of mingled wet hair that's just hanging long at the side of his face, and just through it, you see these intense eyes. And he says something. Uh, does anyone here know Latin or Spanish? No. Wait, as personally or our characters? Characters. <laughs> uh, no, I don't know how I would know that, but I don't. You, you can buy lang- You can yeah. buy languages. Uh, nope, not here. <laughs> <laughs> we all speak American. I see. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Vampire. This is America. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> oh, no. And if you're gonna live in America, you should speak English. So, excuse me. Language is a merit, like all of your combat skills That's and not- striking looks, and uh, you have to, to buy it with, actually, with points. I actually did seriously consider taking Spanish for a, for a merit. I, my, you're gonna regret that. My I friend. am. Uh, but he says something in Spanish, and curiously, JD, you understand. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> JD, are you secretly a Mexican? Uh, <laughs> that is so offensive. I'm sorry. I don't mean that. I'm also I'm also gonna assume it doesn't work that way. <laughs> you don't even have airlines. With a little bit of uh, mixed blood, I don't think I uh, You just understand. automatically learn, uh, understand Spanish. Yeah, that's, that's not how that works. <laughs> it comes from the blood, you I am, see? I'm cutting all that's, of this out. No. <laughs> God. None of this is in the episode. Everyone None knows that that's not how it is, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Darla. Oh, I, I'm sorry. So Are yes. you, Darla? Um, you, you hear, although you, it strangely doesn't, you can hear it separate. Like, from your, hear, your ears, you can actually hear the words in the language you do not understand. But inside of your mind, you hear it in the same voice in English. Okay. And it says, Mariela, where are you? Why, what is happening? And for free, I'll, I'll let you know, as you look around, clearly no one else heard anything like you did. Uh... <laughs> Uh, so anyway, he's going to spend the turn uh, disconnecting himself and getting oriented, which makes it the woman's turn. Uh, might I interject myself at this time? Yes. Uh, do I still have my camera? I, I haven't been using it. Do I still have it? It is at your feet. You would have had to put it down either here or in the lab in okay. order to pick up the fire extinguisher. Okay. Uh, can I kick it on and just have it facing them on the floor? I'm, I'm not going to be able you, to keep track of this, but I'd like to have it for later. It's a very, it's a large fire extinguisher. It's not small. You will have to put it down on your next turn and turn the camera on in order to record. Uh, I don't think I can do anything too useful this turn. Well, it's not your turn yet, so don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry, sweet cheeks. This is what <laughs> I get for holding. You're up next. Oh, wait, you did hold your action, didn't yeah. you? All right, I, I will let you catch that in, actually. Okay, so, uh, so I need to... Spend my whole term setting down the fire extinguisher. Setting down the fire extinguisher, turning on the camera. Yes. Making sure the focus is set, and then picking the fire extinguisher back up. Cool. Yes. That's my turn. I just want to make and sure I, it's aimed at where everyone is. And while you're doing that, I'll need you to roll stealth again to okay. see whether anyone notices you doing this. Okay. Thank you for reminding me. I forgot your turn. I am sorry. Okay. One. Two. One. Two, one. Well, you're lucky so far. Oh, God. Please. (laughs) Chill the fuck out, guys. 
You're further away. <laughs> They're further away. <laughs> They're further away. <laughs> They're fighting somebody. Come on. Well, it just so happens. Blink. You you were not noticed by anyone in the room, but the woman with the chain did notice you. She saw you do that. Oh no. And she attacks you with her chain whip. Oh shit. Fuck, why me? Why not the, why not the people swinging ha- wait, swinging chairs and shit? Fuck. <laughs> I'm not like, I don't know. Deanna, I'm All right, like so, uh, you might. <laughs> Roll to enjoy BDSM. <laughs> you know, she actually misses you. Ooh, that was five ooh. dice and no successes. Well, you oh my. You lucky bitch. <laughs> <laughs> So that takes care of her turn, and now you get your next turn. Okay. Um, I would like to pick up the fire extinguisher if I haven't already. You already have it. Aim at said BDSM bitch and press the button. Okay. Fuck you, BDSM what, what bitch. Do you, firearms? Uh, 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 yeah, roll me, um, jeez. Roll me Larson. <laughs> roll me eight. firearms and, um, Dexterity? Intelligence to make sure you know how to operate it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I like this spot pretty better. pretty sure they just point and click. <laughs> I like this spot better. <laughs> I like this spot a lot more. Whoa. Whoa. Holy shit. Yeah. I'm never rolling over there again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't see. What happened? Okay, right. Only four successes. You got four Ooh. successes. All right, so you aim the fire extinguisher. It hits her right in the face. Um... And I guess it gives her it gives her the condition blinded for the next uh, for until she cleans the condition. Okay, so whose turn is it? Oh shit! So right, Mason just blinded the woman with the yeah. chain, making it Vic's turn. Uh, Vic honestly did not expect this to go as well as it is. He was expecting kind of a zero dark thirty situation where just they just come through and everyone's dead but him and then he needs to like get out. But now that he's seeing that things are kind of like starting to go our Sorry. way, uh, he's going to scramble out from under the table and uh, come up to the to the chain woman and use a clinch strike. Okay, what's a clinch strike? Basically, I get to grapple her and then I get a free physical attack. Nice. Is that a merit? Yeah. Cool. Go for it. Okay. So uh, I'm going to come up and attempt to uh, to grapple her. Basically, it's uh, I'm basically doing a like a hip toss judo style. I was like, is that like jujitsu? It's it's ninjutsu. No, it, it, it's judo. Now, please don't distract me. <laughs> and this is against the feral girl, right? Yes. No, not no, well, no. not against chain the, lady. Uh, the, uh, chain the chain lady. The chain lady. Yeah, the one. Okay. Who, the one who uh, whipped her chain over at. Uh, over at Mason. With my chain. Okay, I see. Blinding McChain Lady. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that would be a. Yeah. Okay. I'll allow it. It's yeah. it's within your your movement. So we'll we'll call right. it one action. All right. Cool. What do I need to roll for that? So, well, let's see. I don't know what your merit says, but generally for a grapple, to initiate a grapple, you roll strength brawl. So I'm assuming okay. it's that, and then you just get a free attack after that. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Ooh. Two successes. Nice. Okay. And she is blinded. Oh, you're right. So she's at a disadvantage. You're welcome, sugar. Sugar. Yep, she fails. So you successfully grapple her. But why don't you tell me how you do it? Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, Vic, seeing uh, first of all, seeing the chair being smashed against the uh, the first guy, and then uh, starting to see the fight ensue, and seeing that. Oh, the, the the chamber is getting opened, and and just stuff is like actually going our way. Oh, uh, that, this lady just got blinded. Now's my chance. I I now am at a much greater chance to live. This is all going through his head, and so and so he just scrambles out from from under the table, uh, comes uh, uh comes up to at her side and just sort of like loops an arm uh un, under uh under her underarm and then like tosses her uh, over his knee. So, basically trying to, like, throw her to the ground. Okay. And so, uh, do I get, like, that physical attack? Yes. And then, so, same deal. Well, let's say you, you manage to get her in sort of a headlock, and that will give you a free sort of punch to, oh, okay. so, to her body. Oh, Because well, the throw would be something different. Gotcha. Okay, then in that case, I'm going to... 
run up, grab her, and then just just be kind of a little, just like start going wild, just like absolute smacking, half fisted, uh, in the in the side of the face sort of deal. Okay, she cannot defend, so oh, okay. uh, she will take full damage from you. Uh, <laughs> I got zero successes. So even though you, you have super. you have her literally in it's, your it is hands, four dice, right? Yes. Well, it's it's your strength and brawl. Yeah. Yeah, so even though you have her unable to defend, you somehow miss the punch. The, okay, so here's how I picture <laughs> that. So when it, like, slides off because of the so fire extinguisher fluid, it's just really slippery. Well, no, I was just no, I was thinking that he's that ineffectual with his smacking. <laughs> oh, my God. Just oh, like so he, he hits, but it doesn't hurt. He, he, he hits, but he doesn't know, like, how to throw a hit oh. to where it doesn't actually hurt you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Rolled it. Maybe he's he like, maybe he's been doing like 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 set fighting all of his life, and he doesn't know how to throw a real punch because he's. I took three it. classes of judo. I'll have you know, <laughs> but like movie judo. So, so so are you proposing that Vic is so detached from reality that he can't actually punch someone? I kind of love that. Yeah, because he's used to doing the fight choreography that you do on He set. knows the difference between reality and fantasy, Darla. <laughs> Does he? <laughs> Does he? JD, yes, re- remind me. Yeah. <laughs> remind me, Michael, did JD hit with the bat? Yes. Yes? All right. But Thank she you. is still grappled. She is still grappled. I'm checking whether or not the man is disarmed, and he is. Okay. Uh, but anyway, it is Darla's turn. Uh, yeah. I'm going to brush for the gun. Okay. What do I have to roll for that? Well, um, no one's really contesting you, so you can just use your movement to go and pick it up. I'm going to pick up the gun, and I'm going to point at the lady. Oh, I'm going to say... Hold on, hold on, hold on! <laughs> I'm going to say, well, I, I, you know, I asked you all nicely last time if we could just settle this like, like people, you know, who talk to each other and don't shoot. So uh, I'm going to ask you again if uh, you could kindly not try and kill us. Because that would be great. I, I know you can't see right now, but there is a gun pointed at both of us, so I highly recommend that you listen to her. <laughs> I'm glad you clarified that, because, yes, she can't see what's happening. <laughs> I, I, was, I mean, I hope she would hear the, the, the noise. I guess I could pull back the hammer. Whoosh! <laughs> uh, you're going to have to roll me... Uh, roll me Wits Occult for that. Do you know how to pull back the hammer? Of, of, this, of this particular gun, yes. Um, Ooh, same shoot. either way. Demon magic. Um, Three. Okay, so as you look down at the gun and do what you can do reflexively as a girl of your upbringing, (laughs) 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 you are momentarily a little baffled to find that there are actually three hammers on this gun. And a glowing red eye on the top of it that scares you shitless. Please make a humanity roll for me. Uh, okay, so what does that mean? Pope, what do you it's know a, that we It's don't... your morality, sorry. Um, I, I, I know nothing. I don't know why seven? you're looking at me. Yes, it should be just, seven right now. I'm just Pope Sorry, making... integrity. They've changed the name of this particular stat several times. Okay, Pope, Pope is making faces. Something I am is going not. on here and I'm unaware of it. Well, he doesn't know. He's just really chuffed to see <laughs> something supernatural. Yeah. Uh, me too. Yeah. Just All right, cool. So you don't uh, you don't freak out, but it is scary. It does not stop you. You, for p- perhaps almost psychically, for reasons you can't quite identify, you do select the correct mechanism and the correct order of things to cock the gun, and you are reasonably sure that you've done it correctly. So the gun is ready to fire. Awesome, uh, Darla. <laughs> So, uh, what I'm going to need the both of y'all to do is uh, I'm going to let you, uh, well, I'm not going to shoot you right now, but my friends are probably going to... Uh, Don't look at me while you say that. <laughs> <laughs> probably going to, like, tie you up, and we can just have a nice little chat. How's that sound? And, and, and Vic nods furiously. Uh, and from the ground, you hear the man say, how about not... And he goes to sweep his leg and try to trip you. Oh, fuck. So uh, that would be, for him, strength and brawl. Well, what do I defend with? Um, you don't defend against attacks. Uh, your defense is subtracted from his dice pool, though. So if you have defense... 
now would be the time to tell me. This is the lowest of dexterity or wits. Yes. Um, so that would be dexterity, which is one. Okay. So he loses one dice, but he spends a willpower. So that's the total pool. No fair. No! What happened? I was so cool! That's always a bad, bad sign. Your bad whistle. Four. All right. Ah. He has four successes. He does, um, you have a defense of two, so he does two bashing, kicking you right in the shin, and he does not knock you prone or disarm you, but he does sort of knock one of your legs out from under you. Um, so you won't have to waste an action next turn getting up, but you are no longer standing and sure of yourself. Well, that's an ego breaker. And that's his turn, which makes it Casey and Cleo. So Cleo is going to make another attempt at uh, uh, the man. Doing what with the man? uh, Trying to attack him. Specifically, she's trying to grapple him. Oh. But she doesn't have brawl, and she only has one strength, so it's not really that scary. I just learned a thing. (laughs) So she fails. She, She does sort of land on him, but he very easily shoves her off. She's... A very young girl. She's thin, she's light, she's emaciated. She's not very hard to overpower. And uh, she really does not accomplish much. Casey, however... Casey manages to land a solid hit on the canister containing the female vampire. And with the sound of shattering glass, yet more of this blue, uh, sort of near-frozen liquid flushes onto the floor... The floor is now slippery, and all of you will have to make dexterity rolls to move faster than walking. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, uh, she's hanging there, but she is now free. If she is, in fact, able to move, which you all aren't sure, uh, that, that case is now broken. Uh, which makes it JD's turn. Uh, after hearing um, b- brain voices... Um, <laughs> yes, that's what they're called. JD, he's going to be uh, pretty startled by that because he said that he heard it in his ears and then he heard it in his head. It's an integrity deal. And uh, he's going to almost visibly stagger backwards and he's going to be like, I, I, who's, who's, who's Mariella? Is, is that Mariella? Like pointing to the one beside him. Like, that's what? When does she have her action? Hmm. All right. Sorry. Half at it. Okay. Anything else you'd like to do with this turn? Um, not not really. Kind of. You can hold an action. Yeah, well, I guess I'll hold an action. Just kind of shocked and waiting on seeing what's gonna happen. All right. Uh, well, from the case. Um, now that the glass is gone, since you are very attentive of that side of the room, JD, I'm mm. going to give this to you for free. Um, who else? Uh, Vic, you are looking that direction. Okay. So Vic and JD, you both, um, notice that the female in the tube, uh, although she, she doesn't make any obvious movements that indicate life, her eyes are open. And they are sort of, like, scanning the room. Although there's something strangely vacant about her gaze. If that makes sense. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And that's what you can tell just off off the bat as her her form is more revealed. I I feel so safe right now. (laughs) And she is going to take an action. Does she have to? Ooh, I've never rolled this one before. Uh, that sounds bad. bad. <laughs> There's no way that's good this. I, I really, really hate this. It's not. This is, this is a lot of dice, guys. The vampires oh, are yeah. only oh, going to attack the hunters. We're nice. fine. But you don't know that. We may be delicious. I'm delicious. I'm sure you're delicious. I'm near the elevator. <laughs> and also delicious. <laughs> okay. Um. You're still rolling more dice? No, no, I have to roll the other side of this action. Okay. Other side? What? <laughs> what? 
What? What? Okay. What the fuck? Sorry, I'm not very fast at this yet. That's All okay. failures. Okay. So from across the room, the um, previously very feral woman uh, who's been moving around exclusively on all fours stands up totally erect and, and bipedal. Uh, her arms uh, very loose at her sides. And she takes a very noticeable moment to look around the room and orient herself. Oh, boy. And that makes it... The other vampires turn. Mm, what happened? Mm. I, don't, I don't know what happened. I don't like it. He is going to attack Reese, the male test subject that you all met. Oh. No. I like that kid. Okay. Wait. Uh, but you let them out. I liked him. <laughs> it seems like we didn't need to let them out, guys. Nope. Seems like it seems like this backfired. Well, he only makes one success. But no. Reese is not resisting, so that is all right. So the male vampire, now free of the apparatus, um, strangely not very violently. Um, where is Wolf? Uh, I missed your turn, Wolf. I'm sorry. You oh, go before this. Okay, cool. Um, okay. Yes. Before anything, very important question, is the vampire hot? Uh, he might be hot if he'd had a shower any time in the last hundred years. Gross. Okay, not into it. <laughs> um, oh, wait, no. I have a very important question. What's his daddy skill rating? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to reintroduce what? this? Oh, Steven, hell yeah, we are. You should be very happy that I'm feeling nostalgic today. <laughs> <laughs> nostalgic for less than a year ago. Uh, oh man, I'm spending a reroll on that. What oh, the fuck? Oh, yes. No, this is well, this okay. not, no, You know what? He just stuff. rolled two threes and a two, so he is not a daddy. Ah. He's hot, but he is not a daddy. He's not even middle aged. No, he's very hot, but he's not a daddy. He's a twink. <laughs> he's hot, you but Wolf was both. not into him. No, Wolf would not be into him. <laughs> Such a shame. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to rule. He's hot in, in the sense that he, he has that him? air of eternal youth and, and like, sophistication about him. So not, Scott. Not in a dad way. Okay. In a very sort of, like, self-righteous twink way. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like Louis. I, okay, I'm sorry. I thought the daddy scale was just sort of, like, a hotness <laughs> summary sort of thing. <laughs> you can't be a hot not daddy. Yes, he is. Uh, and I will say, since you rolled four successes on the chair swing, you have shattered this chair. You are now just holding the leg of the chair with some splinters on the end. Oh, wow. So Wolf has a moment of just kind of like, whoa, cool. In the single most athletic feat of Wolf's entire <laughs> life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, he's still kind of riding high. Um, and I've been really into wrestling lately. <laughs> so Wolf's just going to body movie. slam the asshole. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just going to grapple, I guess? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to... Uh, I'll call that an initiate grapple attack. Sure. With your whole body. Yeah, no, I'm just going to belly flop on him. <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll call that initiate grapple. So strength and brawl, please. So, okay. wait a minute, Michael. Show. If this vampire is a hot vampire who speaks Spanish. It is not your turn yet, No, first no, of I'm all. asking a question. This is out of character. This if is he's very a important, vampire Garrett. that speaks Spanish, does that make him... Remember in an interview with the vampire, there's that hot, like, Antonio Banderas vampire guy? Oh, my God. Armand? Do you remember that? And he has the crazies in Paris, and he's... Yes, I remember. Is he like that? Yes, he is somewhat reminiscent of Antonio Banderas. So he's an Antonio Banderas <laughs> hot. Established. <laughs> I say, already regretting what I just said. You should. Yes, <laughs> yes Stephen. Uh, I got one success to body slam and Tony Banderas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so you you hit him, uh, and you do one one bashing, but that is all. Ah, okay, bummer. And you you do not have him pinned with one success because uh, his strength is two. However, you are you are now on the ground, uh, and he will have to make a strength check to move you. Hell yeah. And since you are a rather large man, uh, larger than he is, he will Fat be added. Spray. So I'm going to Can we make that. a milf meter? 
Well, Somehow it's a little creepier. Yeah. 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 When it's out I'm of the just, bed. I'm just okay. throwing spaghetti at the wall. Okay. The thing about it, Garrett, you don't understand is the, the daddy scale is universal. The daddy scale can appeal to women. Too. Oh, okay. The daddy scale is just the daddy scale. Okay. Yeah. No. Uh, I just think it is a measure of, of oh. how good that NPC might be as a provider. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is not. That is a bold faced lie. What? That's what makes someone a daddy, right? No it's one not is just, thinking that. It's not just they're hot. It's they have the quality of someone who would take care of you that and is, your children. You know, that's that what makes someone what a daddy. That is not what that means I'm, I'm at okay all. With this. That I is, think that's good. No one is thinking I have that. argued for this for two, two seasons, and I will continue to do this. so as a storyteller. I'm... That is, I never rolled it like that. It was always just a hot guy thing. I didn't realize that I felt so strongly about this that I do. So you're saying Armand can't provide for us. He's not Armand. Amazing. <laughs> Are you saying Antonio Banderas is a bad Steven, father? Steven, I'm only dealing with one of the table that we used to have. I don't know how you survived. Oh, oh, oh I barely <laughs> did. I barely survived that. Oh, my God. All right, so anyway, it is, uh, yes, yeah, so it is the vampire's turn, that? the male vampire's turn, and he is going to spend it feeding on Reese. Oh, no. Oh, no. Leave that kid alone. Hey, it's better him than you guys, right? Yeah, so, I guess, but like, need to he doesn't some. need to take a big old bite of the Reese's cup. No. <laughs> Reese's oh. pieces. The Reese's pieces <laughs> punched me. The Reese's pieces can get drained fucking dry. He's a child. He's like 18. That's a kid. You, you also you also stopped him from getting to his girlfriend, who I unfortunately tased. So, yeah. That was the girlfriend at the time. So, so I think you might have been in the bad, the bad in that scenario. No. I think all of us okay, kind of fucked so up. That would be protecting his whole my party, turn. shit. Yes, so next it is the female hunters, and she's going to resist the grapple. Okie doke. So I'll need a strength and brawl check from you. Oh boy. Yes, strength and Do it. <sighs> did we do it, or did we not do it? Uh, I, I am at least somewhat successful. It's one. It's just one success. You can beat one success. Get him, God. One success. So, it, so am I defending? How does this work? Uh, in this case, you are defending because she it's her turn. She's taking this action to break the, the grapple. So uh, you both put up a, a pretty stern fight. <laughs> but no, you don't. You do manage to keep her uh, in your arms, and she is unable to clear I'm, the blinded condition. I'm squirrely. So she will spend yet another turn helpless, oh, making yeah. it Mason's turn. Okay. Um. Is. So is, is this just a melee of people on the floor or near the At floor? At this point, it's basically one of those cartoon clouds with like fists coming in and out. I, I was okay. picturing as like jello <laughs> wrestling because we're in a bunch of. Yeah, you are blood. in goo. That's true. Okay. Is. Most of our party is not over by the vampires. Are no. any of us over by the vampires? No, no, no. not right now. The Can closest I... one is JD, but he's still a good six feet away. I'm gonna run over to the elevator door. Or can I? Oh god, no! That's a heavy ex- extinguisher. Um, I'm just gonna shout everybody out, and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna spray. Pat, can I like step up and spray past the group at the vampires? No, it doesn't really have that kind of range. Okay. Um, you from the door uh, to the the sort of dog pile of people fighting, it's about ten feet. And okay. That's the range. Can I d- drag the extinguisher over to the door, and uh, I'll come back for the camera and punch the button. Sure, you can do that with your turn. Okay, and then just be like, everybody out. You'll have to um, you'll have to step carefully around the the sort of straining cluster of Victor and the female hunter, but mm-hmm. there's it's a big enough room you Excuse can me. Pardon, you can pardon get me. by without rolling. Pardon. Perfect. <laughs> All right, and that makes it Vic's turn. So, uh, do you want to hold hold this grapple some more, or do you want to do something else? Uh, he is yelling for everyone to get out, but I'm like I'm I'm kind of invested now, <laughs> considering that I'm like holding her off. Can I can I try and like. Uh, I, Vic does want to get out of here, but, uh, but like, can he like throw her to the ground? Like give her, give her like a turn to have to get back up. 
He's trying to inconvenience her so that he can like get out of there. The ground is well, slippery now. Uh, is you slippery. have you have her in a grapple, so mm-hmm. you can roll strength brawl to immobilize her. Okay. I'll go with that. And it is it is minus the opposing strength. She has a strength of two, so you will lose two dice from your pool. Oh, okay. Well, all right then. Ooh, one success. Okay, one success. One success. All right. Well, you manage it. That's all you need. Um, so she is already helpless in your arms. I mean, she's blinded and grappled. So don't you phrase manage... it like that. <laughs> <laughs> so you manage to. I mean, that's actually a condition. I mean, that she has the condition helpless right oh, now. Helpless um, and in my arms. She's less empowered in your arms. So uh, anyway, that's... you manage to use the she's hold you have on her arm. and her limited. Um, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Her limited senses to get her to the floor and put a, a foot on her sort of shoulders and keep her from getting up. And oh. she will and she will be stuck there uh, so long as you hold her there. Oh, I was uh, I was just gonna like toss her and bail. I see. All right, sure, we'll call it that. Um, okay. But she'll she'll get up for free next turn. Oh, that's how it works. Okay, fine. So. No, you should well, hold under. Well, okay, it's you if you okay. <laughs> If you throw someone, you are breaking the grapple, so you wouldn't yeah. have needed to roll a grapple check. You could have just thrown her and done something else. I see. But uh, to sort of keep her incapacitated for another turn, you have to immobilize her in some way yourself. So either tie her to something or put something to keep her from getting up or, or, or stand on her and force her on the ground. You have to do something to prevent her from doing something. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so I need to like spend a whole turn to immobilize yes. her. Rather yeah. than Okay, gotcha. And if you immobilize her with some kind of apparatus, then obviously you feel like can you leave. But if you're using the force of your own body like you are now, then she's only immobilized until you let her go. How about I go ahead and do that hip roll that I was trying to do earlier? And so she just, like, not just falls to the ground, but, like, hits the ground. Okay. Okay. I think that's a good, yeah, that. that's a good solution. So she is lying on her back on the ground, blinded and in, in some pain. Yep. <laughs> she's not having a good afternoon. She's had worse. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's Vic's turn. Next up is Darla. Uh, okay, so both of these these people are pretty tangled up in other members of the party, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. In the time since you have trained the gun on on this woman and Vic, uh, both of your assailants have landed on the floor. There is, however, a scary ghouly girl that was previously harmless and is now standing there in a in a vaguely uh, threatening way. Who do I even shoot? Um, <laughs> Jesus. I, I do have a suggestion. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> no, JD, I was looking for you. I've been thinking, I need to get that boy out of the picture. I'm going to be a big star one day. Um, JD. Yeah, get out of here, JD. I've been get waiting shot. for my chance to Dude, shoot you in a secret laboratory you see how good your Keanu Reeves is <laughs> the perfect exactly cover. the moment the perfect cover no one would come looking in a secret uh, lab so yeah no one <laughs> Jesus Christ <laughs> oh dear um I'm going to uh yell at the boys uh wait can I look around um is there any room that's like a sealed room that we could throw these hunters into uh, I did just shout, let's get out. I heard you. So, I mean, do, do what you want to do, but remember. She's allowed to argue. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, you recall that there are a line of cells at the back of the facility, yeah. but that is, as you recall, through the atrium, through a lab, and then in the back of the of the area. Jesus. Um, um, I'm going to... Is, is the, the woman, she's subdued, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's going to spend her turn getting up and clearing the blind condition. Um, while she's still on the ground, um, could I put my taser away and try and grab her weapon? Her weapon is is attached to her in a convoluted sort of way. Uh, the chain is actually wrapped around her entire arm and then connected to a sort of uh, like whole torso chain shirt. Okay, and so she, Vic's body isn't really near her anymore because he just threw it in the ground, right? He's not on He's, top of her? He is not physically touching her anymore. He is standing over her prone form. Well, um, then I'm going to shoot her. Oh, shit. Sure, go shoot for it. Shoot her in the head. 
Shoot Watch out, I need this angle. <laughs> so that'll be firearms. Yeah. And, that... and weapon. Well, yeah, I got firearms. Yeah. Firearms and dexterity. Yeah. Shit. Um, I'm going to burn out of will time. I'm just imagining. Sienna's just. <laughs> Why is she holding it sideways? <laughs> she doesn't she's know like what she's glass. doing. No, I do have one. You have one? She oh. grew up in Georgia. She knows how to shoot. Uh, that true. would be two successes. Two successes? All right, you do two lethal. Actually, Ooh. wait. Wait, wait, wait. No, sorry. This is not a normal gun. Yeah. You. <laughs> Turns you, out. Oh, shit. Sorry, my, my bad. My bad. So you pull the trigger, and rather than a sort of gunshot noise, the gun just makes a low crackling uh, and a sort of whining noise that is mechanical, and yet at the same time sounds vaguely like distorted screaming. And out of it comes like this very disturbing red bolt of light that hits, and it hits her directly in the chest. And when it hits her, she uh, she doesn't quite scream, but it's it's only because she is holding it in. And you can't really tell what it does, but you can tell she's not bleeding. It doesn't have the effect of, of a normal gunshot. Does she look like she's down to the count, or...? As far as you can tell right now, yes. Uh, she is certainly not unconscious. She is moving, she's writhing around... Uh, and her hands are sort of ringing and, and pawing at her chest, but she is not, she doesn't look ready to fight right now. <laughs> no. Um, can I speak or is it at the end of my turn? That would be your whole action. Okay. So up next is Greg. So... Uh, you did not, however, deal with Greg, who is at your feet, so he is going to try and grapple you. Me? Yes. Who's Greg? Sorry, the, <laughs> the male hunter. Gregory. I thought Steven body slammed him. And he's I did. Oh, the, you're right. Under the, the weight. There's so That's many true. people in the scene. He's under the so weight yeah, of a he wolf. First has to get, he has to get out from under the fat man. So, hey. got a real strength. Fat guy strength. Short story. I, I, he's not fat, he's husky. <laughs> out, out from underneath the fat man is the name of your next short from story. From underneath the fat man. <laughs> oh, man. It's a sequel. All right, Steven. So, um, roll me roll me strength and brawl. If you have okay, it. Okay, give me that roll. Hmm. <laughs> Although, uh, Greg's going to send a willpower, but he is at a disadvantage, so he's going to lose one dice because he is smaller than the man he's trying to get off of. Great. <laughs> he is significantly smaller. I got zero. Crap. He got one success. What? Out of like eight dice. Boo. So yes, he just barely Man. gets out from under you. It's because he's all like he's all slippery. Muscle. <laughs> he's just, like grabbing oh, a grease hog. So vampire goo. So while it's on my mind, how how daddy is Gregory? Oh, good That's an excellent question. <laughs> I think it's time no good wait, to roll wait, the daddy's game. Does, does the oil Dude. add a bonus dice? Huh? Does the oil add a bonus dice? <laughs> We've never rolled more than one dice on a daddy scale before. Yeah, no, but he's John? oily, so that's gotta gotta be. A John, bonus. how dare you, <laughs> Stephen? Stephen, you invented the daddy scale. What what do you think? More like it was inflicted on me. Um, I'm gonna give him a plus Our two. Our meant to be greasy. I'm gonna give him a plus two. <laughs> Okay, Ooh. so he gets plus two to his oh, daddy skill roll, yeah, which cannot be undone. He is a greasy father. Oh, he is a nine, everybody. <laughs> oh Woo! my god, he's He hot. is a seven and a nine in oil. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <laughs> my. He's a jadgy. He's a strong seven. He's a strong daddy seven. What have I done? What have I done? <laughs> we do have a lot, a lot of potential at this table, I admit. We have a lot more boys in this campaign. Oh my god. Oh, oh you just shh, rolled a zero. Shh, a ten. It didn't happen. <laughs> so Mason is, Mason is, is the ulti- super daddy. The ultimate dad. Vic Ooh. is not Vic is not a good provider. He rolled a two. <laughs> <laughs> he Mixed he will not be a boy. The, the Cubs will starve this eight. year. Ooh. Oh, JD got an eight. Ooh. I got a six. I'm middling dad. <laughs> and I got an eight. Sorry, Vic. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, I don't feel bad about this. Vic oh, has no shut. plans of being a father. Just You're the, the last daddy on the totem pole. Right. So he doesn't want to be part of the totem pole. The male hunter pulls himself out from underneath Wolf, 
Um, <laughs> and as a reflexive action, he says something in a language none of you... Now, there's, I'm going to be specific here. There's languages you don't know. Then there's languages you don't recognize. No. He says something in a language none of you have ever heard before. And the gun in Darla's hand uh, dims down and the red light uh, goes away. Oh. Shit. And that's his turn. Casey and Cleo's turn. So, at this point, Casey is going to hide. She's done what she came here to do. She succeeds. So, she's just going to tuck herself behind the sort of... uh, chairs and tables and lab equipment that's been pushed aside and she's just hiding in the corner and Cleo interestingly enough okay who is <laughs> I need to reconstruct this scene so she is standing Wolf is on the floor with Greg next to him but not underneath him Papa Greg Papa Greg <laughs> <laughs> Darla is standing above or no she's on a knee beside them yeah she's just shot uh, the female lady. hunter. Chain lady. Oh, I'm just going to tell you guys for the sake of clarity, because there's a lot of people here. Her name is Singer. She's Ooh. shot Singer, who is prone on the floor at Vic's feet, and Mason is by the elevator calling everyone to run. Right? That's right. everyone? Yeah. Yes. That sounds right. Cool. Um, that is everyone's current position. So, what she is going to do... Wipe off her face that's been covered in shit this whole time? No, this isn't her. This is Cleo, the feral girl who's stood up. Yep. So she is going to attack Darla. Hey! What? Why? Because she's holding a gun. She got rabies. (laughs) She's currently the biggest threat in the room. Oh. She got rabies. That's That's why I had to go through that (laughs) flowchart. There are a lot of people in this room scarier than Darla, but not right now. So she actually does manage to grapple you, Darla. Darla's got a gun. (laughs) (laughs) So uh, she has sort of pounced on top of you. She's got you in in sort of a a headlock and and with one arm and with the other arm. She's reaching for for the gun, but, uh, you know, you're struggling and she can't quite get a grip on it. And that brings us to Wolf's turn. On the ground next to, what's his name? Greg. Gregory. Yeah, so over you, uh, Darla is being attacked by the ghoul girl, and uh, the male hunter has been, uh, I suppose, he he is trying to get to his feet right now. I'm just going to take one of the blood bags, throw it at the vampire guy. Okay. Who's sipping on Reese. (laughs) (laughs) Sippin'. 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 Sippin' on gin and juice. So like, that might taste juice. better. <laughs> you know, as you as you It tastes less like a beauty. Try the vegetarian <laughs> Try the vegetarian option. <laughs> you uh so yeah, you I'll let you do that for free. You don't have to do anything. Okay. You can throw it at him. It's it's not a hard target. <laughs> It lands at his feet and kinda of skids across the, the slimy floor. I wanna I wanna take them in the face. Oh, in the face. I All right, him, sure, I roll him, for it. I wanted to, like, hit him and be like, drink it. <laughs> All right. Th- it's fine. Um, oh, gosh. I guess this would be uh, athletics. Yeah, strength it's athletics. Like, it's like a cold shot. Yeah. It's like an aim to kill. I can do that. Sipping on Reese. Wearing lots of fleece. Gonna <laughs> fuck you up like some Canadian geese. <laughs> <laughs> With my rapping skills, I'll he have you know. Right, Steven. That was the can I not ex- lemonade talking. Can I can I not express Four. myself through the art of rap? Five. Alright. It, wow. it hits him. That's an exceptional success. It actually just goes into his mouth. Can you? It, <laughs> <laughs> just cool. It, it it hits him square in the face. Uh, hard enough, and, and you did take it, it was in use on a plant. Yeah. And so it was really just kind of hastily tied shut. Yeah. So when you hit, it does burst open and bathe Reese and the vampire <laughs> in nasty bagged blood. And the as it sort of, like, covers both of them and it's dripping down the vampire's face, he does not let go. 
But you, he, he gets a, a very noticeable, to you, JD, a look of clear amusement <laughs> on his face. Uh, it, 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 he has a concurrent turn, so he continues feeding on Reese, but you have his attention, and you can tell that he is not threatened or enticed by this, but it feels almost like you've earned his respect in some way. <laughs> This is like the world's worst water balloon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that makes okay, sense. so I'm going to run towards the elevator door uh, for my like movement part. Okay. Is that cool? That's cool. <laughs> you can do that. Excuse me, pardon me. I jump over there. <laughs> All slippery floor. Careful, Actually, sorry. wait. Wait. Before you do that, he has... He's got enough. Make me a resolve composure. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. At a minus one. <laughs> He's coming for your butt. At minus one? <laughs> At a minus one. Oh, no. Clinch up, buttercup. Is that right? Is Two. Right? Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's so Whoa. bad. Oh, no. Is I right? Stop. <laughs> oh, is Stop. Right? It, is, it is not an exceptional success, but it was a near thing. Oh, Jesus. With four successes. Um... You you find you can't run at all. Oh my! Oh, oh my god! Oh, I got I got the old leg lock. I called In it. In fact, you really really want to help the female vampire out of her cage. Oh my! Oh my I god! Called it. <laughs> so I guess I'm moving that direction. <laughs> yes. And in your mind, you hear a purring voice say, "Yes, I like you." You've got spirit. Oh, uh, you're going to end up as this cabana boy. <laughs> you're going to be cleaning pools for eternity. Uh, I believe I'm higher on the daddy scale than he is. <laughs> Which makes you the perfect cabana boy. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to be doing his taxes Something. and the way you want. <laughs> Something to keep the mistress occupied with. Jesus. You're going to be going to the hardware store, <laughs> buying hammers and work gloves. Garrett, he is there. But you know what? You did. You did. It's not entirely a loss because that expenditure of VTA means he does have to keep feeding on Reese for another turn. Oh my! Or risk going. <laughs> That's the opposite of what right. I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's better than you, isn't it? <laughs> yes, I mean, true. But you know. Yes. So as this all happens across the room, um, no longer contested singer stands up and wipes. Uh, in a very aggravated manner, sort of with one palm sliding over, she wipes the uh, uh, extinguisher foam from her face and flicks it onto the floor <laughs> and takes stock of her surroundings. And that's all she gets to do. Uh, Mason, it's your turn. Okay, so extinguisher's by the door. I punch the button. <laughs> I'd like to uh, run over and grab my camera. And is he... Is, uh, um, I'm still by... Is Vic still on the floor? He's no. standing. I'm standing. I'm, is, I'm, yeah. uh, is Wolf still on the floor? Wolf is... Yes, you're still on the floor, right? Are you... Yeah, I am. Are you actively grappling? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, I'm not grappling anything. Or I just kind of got... Uh, from what I understand, I just got thrown off. So, yeah, I'm down for whatever. Okay. Yeah. Uh... uh what is your character currently grappling somebody or doing anything on the floor? Just kind of lying there. Just uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I would like to snatch my camera and then walk over to Wolf and try and pull him up with my other arm. All right, you can do that. Trying to help him up. Yeah. Um, since you all are free, you're not gonna fight it, Wolf. I assume. Oh uh, no! Then you absolutely can just not. sort of use your turn to pull him up, and he'll get to act immediately on his turn. Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. Because we need to go as soon as the door gets open. Vic's turn. Agreed. Okay. Uh, well, with... Uh, I can't. <laughs> with, uh, uh, with the female hunter back on her feet, Vic has pretty much done all that he cared to do, so he is going to turn and bolt. Just He's going to head right for the right for the elevator. Totes. Okay, so uh, do, do I need to like roll the sprint or anything like that? Because oh uh, yeah, give me his... just a straight dexterity roll. Sure. You only need one success just to make sure that you pay the oh. slippery floors what they oh. uh, the attention they are owed. Two successes. All right, so yeah, no problem at all. You get all the way to the elevator. Cool. Hooray! All right, so I just like I do like that little like half hop over the over the fire extinguisher, and now I'm just there, just like holding the elevator button. All right, Darla, your turn. Okay. Um, 
So, gosh, I know everybody's making a break for the elevator, but I know as a player that JD is kind of going to get, you know, fucked by some vampires. So. Yeah, I didn't. Let <laughs> Deanna, nope. just let Whoops. him live the dream. Living, the, living that good life. <laughs> I, I'm gonna say uh, you you can try and, and notice JD. I just need you to roll. A uh, no, no. What I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna turn the gun because um, it's probably useless, and I probably got the feeling that it is useless now because it kind of powers down. Mm-hmm. And I've seen a sci-fi movie at least once, <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna try and pistol whip the. Um, hunter lady all right um she's a little far but you can totally go for it um just strength and brawl and uh she has a defense of two so uh that's fine. do you need dice you will lose two dice from the attack well that was that's a pretty good roll for me uh so well so i don't lose too much that would be two successes all nice. right, you hit her good. You do two bashing. <laughs> and despite all that she's been involved in, that's actually her first damage. Yeah. Really? <laughs> wow. yeah. well, wait a I shot her with the gun. Yeah, you did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. She knows how to take a bullet yes, like a did. champ. It, it did I, something. Oh it hit her in a different way. Okay. It hit her soul? You don't know. <laughs> it punched so, her in the soul. Uh, yeah, you hit her good. Is it a spirit gun? That makes it... Ah, Greg's turn. No, I want you, you hot <laughs> show. <laughs> so Greg, now that he is up on his feet... Specifically season two. Yeah. He is going to... He wants his gun back. He's going to try and move past Mason and Wolf. So uh, I'm going to do this a straight dexterity roll between Mason and Wolf and him to see if he can get past you unimpeded. Sure. Yeah. All right, we're going to have to tag team this, uh, Steven. Totally. I don't know what we're doing. What are we doing? He's right. just simply trying to move through your space. Right. And I imagine you guys are not going to want him to no. go freely. Absolutely not. I'm thinking the clothesline, you know? Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. 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 Let's keep this wrestling thing going. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> can we Fuck just, yeah. Can we just give him the uh, the lariat? Give him the lariat? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Please fail. While they're holding hands. He failed, like so. Like best of friends. Oh, God. Can we just... Bam! I would love to see this. Can we do this, please? Do we need to roll? Yeah, you guys need to roll your what do dexterity. You need? Dexterity? Just dex. Uh, here we go. Just straight dex? <laughs> Just dex. Straight dex. Oh, yeah. okay. I mean, you guys, you don't have a premonition that he's going to do this, but this is just purely for you to try and stand in his way John, while he's trying to get by. So, I rolled a one. Success. How about you? All right, so you you guys successfully block his path, and he cannot get past you. Okay. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay. All right. We just kind of bump him. We give him the bump. The bump. <laughs> so instead... Red Rover, Red Rover. <laughs> so instead, uh, who's on the right? I think Wolf is on the right. Yeah, that sounds uh, fair. Yeah. So uh, instead, he's just going to punch you. Oh, no. So I have a defense of... They don't allow that in wrestling. <laughs> they have a defense of one, and they, they explicitly allow that in wrestling. Not, like... Like punching, punching. He okay. hits you with three successes. I mean, no, like actually, like, do a Ow. Lot of that hurt. I mean, there's a lot of kneeing and body slamming. Punching is part of wrestling. I don't. Yes, that includes your defense. So you get three bashing. Ugh. Barf. Okay. It's a solid punch right to the jaw. Oh, fuck, man! Ow. And that makes it Casey and Cleo's turn. Casey. Is still hiding. Cleo is gonna try and get at Mason. So she's gonna jump on Mason and try to grapple him. Disentangle herself from Deanna and jump at me. She was already, she let go last turn because of Wolf's successful persuasion. I'm I'm beginning to wonder whether or not it's a great idea or a bad idea that Vic bugged out early. Um, I'm gonna say awful. Uh, So she hits you with three successes. I have. A defense of three. Uh, so that takes three dice away. I see. I need to roll again. Okay. My bad. I will tell you in advance next You time. have a high high defense. So yes, she can't quite get to you. Never mind. 
Uh, Wolf's turn. Okay, like so <laughs> just to recap, I we have like half the party going towards the elevator and yeah, uh, yeah. punch right in the face. I'm yeah, I just got the punched door. in the trying to. square in the jaw. Uh, do I notice JD's acting weird yet? You can let go. Oh well, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna let go. Oh, well, I'll see how this could play that first. Okay. Yeah. Sure. So okay. uh, you you both can dis- disengage at this point and walk cool. towards. What? Are you gonna go all? <laughs> Are you gonna? Uh, I'm the king of empathy, so yeah. If I notice, we need to start noticing. Yeah, that, that's that's kind of what I want. Yeah, to. I it's been notice... a whole turn at this point. Let's give everyone a uh, wits composure check to see if you notice that JD is not acting normally. Awesome, that's all I wanted to do. But he hasn't at this point done anything all that unusual, so I'm gonna. I, I need two successes or more. It's it's not obvious. Yet. Oh yeah, that's totally fair. I only got the one. Everybody. Everybody. Everyone who wants to notice. Sure. I mean, I'm not going to make you. <laughs> Do I notice? <laughs> <laughs> and what's the and wits and what? Wits composure. Okay. I only got one. Well, I'm using uh, my professional Actually, JD, dice. you don't notice. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually part of it. I only got one. Zero successes. Rolling, rolling. Oh, okay. Cool. I love it. Uh, Darla? Oh. I only got one. All right. Oh, oh, I got four. I got four. So the, the king of empathy actually picks up very quickly within a few seconds that, I'm not sure uh, if that, says that. that something is not right with JD. So at this point, I'm going to let you take back what you just said. If you want to go and help JD, you have not yet moved. Okay. Uh, I'm going to look over JD and be like, dude, come okay. on. And then we'll when I realize he, he's not doing what he should be doing, I'm going to look to the vampire and be like, dude, what the fuck? Because I'm No, crazy. the vampire chuckles, though. And uh, removes his fangs from oh. Reese. Forgot about and, that. And uh, he looks over at uh, at JD, <laughs> uh, and, and he uh, he asks JD a question in in the language that you all don't know. Oh, in his brain hole. <laughs> and, and JD, you hear it in, in your my mind. brain ears. <laughs> uh, and he asks you. What do you think I should do with him, pet? Let him go? But because you are entirely in his thrall, you are not able to fathom the response even in your own mm. mind. Okay. Arf. And that wraps up Wolf's turn. I think it's Mankini time for you. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we just need to leave him to his best life. I think, I think the only thing you're going to be rolling for soon is boners. <laughs> Although, oh my God. All of you will notice, since Wolf did call yeah. out to JD and not get a response, you are all now aware. Something's that something's wrong. wrong with him. Cool. So next it's Reese's turn. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Esperanto speaking vampires. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the language of the internet. Reese is sort of, um, he's speak. looking between JD and the vampire. He's, he's sort of, you know, fiddling with his crowbar. And in the end, he seems to come to a decision, walks over to the right um, cylinder, and he hits it with his crowbar, trying to crack that open as well. That's the oh, one dear. with the partially composed being? Yeah, with the small scraps of something that resemble a person. Uh, the blow glances off and doesn't do anything. So, JD's turn. Uh, so, JD, on your turn, you take your baseball bat, <laughs> and you hit the cylinder, or not the cylinder, you don't hit it, you take the baseball bat, and you whack the, the, the cords and the tubes surrounding the person. Okay. And you take great care not to hit her. Yeah. Uh, so uh, go ahead and just roll me as though you were attacking. Okay. Okay, I'll end. Fantastic. I'm kind of imagining you doing sort of like a jerky thing. Like how, the servants in Howl's Moving Castle. With like, <laughs> like cartoonish legs. <clears throat> All right, what's it got? One, two, three... So All right, so you do a great job. She sort of collapses to the floor, um, and uh, you don't quite catch her, but you do sort of stabilize her so she doesn't slide all the way down gotcha. and lower her to the floor. And please roll me another resolve composure. One. That's a yes. You are still in his thrall. Uh, <laughs> hooray! <laughs> I'm thinking green. It would go with his complexion better. 
Don't. Uh, so that no. makes it. Yes, the vampire's turn. <laughs> so he is actually going to approach the group of you uh, towards the front of the room. Uh, he's looking at all of you in turn. He even makes eye contact with each person one at a time. And uh, he approaches the feral girl and he puts his hand on her, her small bony shoulders and he simply just pulls her back towards him. And that's all he does this turn. Uh, Singer, however, on her turn is going to do a whole lot more. Uh, I feel like it's going to be me. She gets to do stuff now. Singer is going to attack Darla with yeah. her chain whip. No. Ciao. Oh no! She's gonna. <laughs> oh no! Don't whip me! I don't yes. whip me! She actually. No. Can't. <laughs> right. Oh no! No no! Oh no! I hate this. She misses. This was a bad <laughs> time. Did you actually restore his health? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow! I'm very slippery because I'm covered in goo, and I'm also not wearing shoes, so. Oh, you did take off the heels. And that makes it Mason's turn. Okay, so presently uh, in front of me is Gregory, the male hunter, and the vampire walked all the way over. Yeah, he's to... now he's now very close to all of you. But he uh, hasn't said or done anything to you directly, or the things he has says you have not been able to understand. Okay, so I'm aware he's a vampire, and they're probably bad. But the only person who's Probably. attacked us presently are the hunters. Can I roll to like shove the hunter towards the vampire? Like, kick him or something? Yeah, you totally can. I've, I've had a lot of success with kicking lately. <laughs> you just keep it up. You just, yeah, so that's a, yeah, just a straight strength ball, brawl check. Yeah. Minus his defense of two. Does Mason never skip leg day? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. I hope you might want to move a little closer. Every day is leg day. Oh. Please, Sorry, thanks. Thanks. It's an eight. We got one. One? Uh, that That is, uh, yeah, that's enough. You don't kick him far, um, but he does sort of, he doesn't fall or anything, but he does slide back and catch himself mm -hmm. a few feet closer to the vampire. Yeah. Uh, so the next turn is Vic's. Uh, Vic feels weird because he has nothing to do over here. He is in the elevator, ready to go. Has it come down yet? Uh, no, the, the the elevator was already there, so oh. you pushed it on your last turn, so the elevator doors pop open right now. Ding! Guys, we gotta go, he says, uh, guys, guys, we gotta go, he says, picking up the, the fire extinguisher, we gotta go, let's go! Well, I know, but JD... Where, uh, JD's predicament... No, yes. I rolled zero successes. Oh, yeah. Wait, is it... But, his... but, but then we kind of collectively... Yeah. Right, we can't collectively came to awareness of it because he didn't respond. Now you're welcome to be uh, yeah. unaware. You were quite far away yeah. and not yeah. focusing on that. You were whatever you think's appropriate. Exactly. I don't think he would have noticed that. I, I but anyway, let's let's role play out this moment though. Yeah. I think this okay. is nice. Uh, yeah, guys, we gotta go. Elevator's here. Let's go. Uh, dude. Hey. JD's kind of gotta get everybody on. Oh my god, uh, JD. JD, dude. Uh, <laughs> oh no! Uh, Vic is gonna is just gonna like roll his eyes like oh my god for real and just like sticks the uh, sticks the fire extinguisher between the doors so that when they close nothing happens just like close open close open okay just to keep it there sure and uh, then with that in mind he uh, uh, I think he's gonna try and run up and sweep the leg on uh, on. What's your name on, on the on the female hunter again? Okay, sweep go for the it, leg, Johnny. Sweep, sweep the leg. leg. Sweep, sweep the, leg, the leg, Johnny. I mean, you're gonna do like a six slide sweep, you know? If no, he's slide. no, he's kind of pissed off. I don't think he's going for flair. <laughs> Through the tube goo. Tube Through the tube goo. goo. Oh, uh, let's, let's not says. say that ever again. Slide right. early. Tube, tube oil. Yes, you are looking to knock prone. All right. You succeed. Oh, okay. Woo! <laughs> Guys, we need to go. We're busy. Fine. Trot, 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 trot. Sheep. Sloop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's All pretty the much it. cross-country skiing. <laughs> <laughs> he's never even, he's never been skiing. 
So uh, that wraps up Vic's turn, I assume. It makes it uh, Darla's turn. Um, well, that bitch tried to whip me. <laughs> uh, so, um... You going to tase a hoe? Yeah, I'm going to tase a hoe. <laughs> tase a hoe. Are you going to slide and tase a hoe? I'm going to tase a hoe. So what I'm part of the this... tase a hoe pan? <laughs> the clan. Yeah, uh, in order to tase, you, you have to make a solid connection on, okay. on both of the things. So we'll treat this as a grapple action. You basically have to make sure that it makes contact in the same would, way you would if you were grappling. Would that be strength? So strength and brawl. And it is... Uh, well, actually, wait. She's been knocked on the floor, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, well then, no. She, You you rolled it a plus two. She can't resist. I rolled it a plus two? Yeah, because she's on the floor. She can't really stop you. Oh, bitch. Alright, uh, that would be four. Alright, you tase her. She, she is, is out. Tase. <laughs> yeah. That's how we do it in the south, bitch! Singer did not <laughs> have a good with this tase. Singer did not have a good comment. No, <laughs> she, she basically stood up and then immediately went back down like three times. <laughs> yeah, she she uh, has the uh, condition stunned for the next two rounds. Makes sense. Keep going. <laughs> and she still uh, only took that one damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Technically, yes. She is still almost at full health, despite having been incapacitated this entire fight. <laughs> Uh, okay, that brings us to Greg's turn. Greg, what is Papa Greg gonna do? Love Greg's when you not call gonna him that. Greg is actually gonna run. He's gonna try and and uh, disengage this coward. Mm. Oh no, he's gonna take the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> I kicked at him. I'll kick him again. <laughs> I'll kick him again. Vic is going to be so mad if he gets on the elevator and just leaves. Thank you, the open elevator, idiot. Well, both of us are standing in the way, so. Keeps the fight. No, Vic is with me and oh. Scary with yeah. me. Oh, he just... So I'm the only one in the way. You yeah. better not let him get on that elevator. I'll kick him again. Yeah, so he's going to charge um, Wolf, because Wolf is more in his way. Oh, oh right, boy. you're with me. Yeah, I think. I am. Close light him. So he's at this point a few feet away. He is going to charge Wolf and try to knock him physically out of the way. Shit. He's going to use Wolf Power for it. Oh, no. shit. Oh, why? So I really like the idea of us, eventually when we do go back to our film crew, of us just walking out of the basement covered in blood. <laughs> blood, <laughs> blood, and blood and oil. Another unidentifiable goo. He succeeds. Uh, he sort of runs bodily into your shoulder first, knocks you aside, Oof. and manages to run all the way to his uh, partner in the atrium, uh, uh, Singer, who was on the floor. Oh, okay. Okay. And who else is there? Darla's there. It's me. Yeah, it's, it's Darla. Just oh, Darla. and Vic is there too, right? Yeah, Vic. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm just making sure I understand. So yeah, she or he runs there and stops, and that will be the end of his turn. Next is uh, he just comes. Uh, he just comes across Darla just teasing his his buddy. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, so on Cleo's turn, uh, the the male vampire leans his head down to her ear and he says, and JD, you understand this and no one else does in the same language. Fluent Esperanto. <laughs> <laughs> he says, um, calm down, darling, get yourself together. And Cleo uh, very calmly walks over to the female vampire sitting on the floor at JD's feet. Oof. And that makes it Wolf's turn. Okay. Hmm. So I'm knocked down, right? Yes. You are you are knocked down. Okay. Uh, from the ground, I'm just going to try to call to JD and see if I can snap him out of it. Can I do that? Sure. Go ahead. Cool. Uh, cool. Let's call it... Um, let's roll what you did for a persuasion check earlier. Ooh. All right. That's fair. Um, Mr. Empathy, go. <laughs> can I, can yes. I use my professional training for this? Or is that a little too much? I just want to make sure. Hmm... If you make it an emotional appeal, then I'll, I'll let you apply your psychology skills to it. All right, cool. So Wolf's just going to call and be like, dude, come on, we need to get home. This is... I don't really know, just like emotional stuff. <laughs> uh, JD, roll your own resolve composure. <clears throat> Wee! You're basically just going to get a free chance to break his hold uh, with the help of Wolf. 
And I got two successes. One. Oof. <laughs> nope. <clears throat> well, okay. Uh, the sound of your, your new teammate asking you to go does awaken awareness in your mind. You are now aware that you are being controlled. Okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> so that's progress, kids. Uh, you can make your next attempt to break on your turn at a, at a plus two. Yay. Two for the two successes that Wolf got. Oh. Well, yay. I'm useful. Uh, Reese is going to swing at the tube once more. You're reaching him in the darkness, Sora. <laughs> oh. And he Christ, scores really? a solid hit against it. <laughs> oh, God. It was, it's like Kingdom Hearts if everyone were hairier. Oh, the, wow. uh, the glass uh, cracks and begins to drain, but it is not fully burst open yet. And then it is JD's turn. Roll me Resolve Composure. Plus two. <laughs> oh, better. The what? The what? Three. <gasps> oh, what do we got? What is it? It is a tie. Uh, uh, and defender uh, wins. Yes! Yay! Yay! Oh, that's good. You shake off. Yay! Somehow you shake off the influence. Thank you, Wolf. Of this elder vampire. <laughs> no man kidding for you. So you come to yourself. At your feet is a, a naked and bloody vampire woman. Beside you is this ghoulish girl whose vacant eyes are, are sort of staring at you. <clears throat> and as you look around, you see behind you the male vampire who you know has just been controlling you. Uh, and he is standing directly in front of your two teammates, one of whom just brought you back to your senses. What's Reese doing? Reese is trying to break open the canister on the far right (coughs) with the the very mangled man in it. Right after having all his blood set. Still going after all this breaking the tube thing. Yeah. Um, So I'm like deep in that room now. You're, you're at the very back, yes. Okay. And then the, the, the dude, vampire, and then, like... If you were group. to try and leave right now, you would have to get through the man who was controlling you to get to your two nearest <laughs> allies. Yes. And I do, I do I know how I got here? You do not know <clears throat> how you got there. You start recalling when <clears throat> Wolf shouted at you and you became aware that so you I mean, were... I mean, essentially the same spot. And essentially, yeah. You don't just really... Just moments before I gained control. Yeah, life. you don't remember breaking it open or any of that. I think... They'd be like... Come back to, like, like come back to myself and be like, what the hell was that? <laughs> like... <laughs> oh, then turn to him and be like, what the hell was that? <laughs> he looks at you, and now that his mouth is free, he, he has a very noticeable smirk, and he chuckles. <laughs> I'm going to hit him with my bat. Yay! Okay, go for it. You know, I kind of ship this. <laughs> <laughs> JD slash Antonio Banderas. And I'm going to willpower it. Go for it. I thought it. he was Edward Cullen. No, no it's Did Antonio Banderas. We talked about this. This was established a while ago. That's five. All wow. Right. He has a wow. armor of two, so he takes three. But is armor and defense the same thing? No. Or no. Defense stack? reduces dice. Armor reduces damage. Oh, okay. Ooh, dice. He fails. So, as you hit him uh, with this bat, it hits him squarely in the side of the head, and he he, uh, sort of stumbles Mm. with the blow. His eyes squint in obvious pain, but most bizarrely, his eyes go a sort of milky color, and he looks around like he can't see. Uh Uh-oh. And he shouts at you. 
Yes, I like it. Okay. <laughs> I thought I, like I didn't think you had anything, but you're more than you seem, aren't you? Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> oh, I don't like vampires. Don't and like then, then uh, oh, conveniently on his turn. Oh God! <laughs> he spins at you, and <laughs> he spins at you, and uh. What's your defense? Two. He spins at you, grabs your throat, and moves in to fight. Uh-oh. And that is where we'll leave our episode. Oh, oh god! god! Oh my god, you've got a vampire boyfriend! <laughs> She's I'm not so a boy- happy oh. for you! Diana, Diana, <laughs> you're the worst. <laughs> He likes you, you're fiery. Oh, yeah, apparently he likes being hit in the head with a bat! <laughs> Uncanny Valley Cancer Cell is created and produced by Buckle Nagel and Stephen Pope. The players are Garrett Schmigel as Vic, Deanna Venable as Darla, Michael Morris as JD, Stephen Pope as James Wolfe, and John Tompkins as Mason, with Buckle Nagel running the game. Hunter the Vigil 2nd Edition is produced and published by Onyx Path Publishing. Find us online at Uncanny Show on Twitter and www.uncannyvalleyshow.com. Make sure you check out Wild Cards, Experience Pointers, and other Saving Throw Show productions on the Saving Throw Network. And hey, have a good night. <laughs>